Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and just do a quick review or a quick view of the BitBar 2 by Big Eye Design. Um, they did not they did not give me this unit. They did not sponsor this video. I bought this with my own money. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I knew that there was a version 2. So uh, let me just give you my quick thoughts and to go from there. I actually did open this myself and I tested it out. And my overall consensus is I am keeping this. This is not going back to Whole Foods. I actually love this thing. Um, and, uh, I didn't think, uh, but I'll ex actually explain about the other big idea design tools because I have them and use them for, you know, for a year. And I'll tell you about both of them and I'll tell you why I, I like this and to go from there. So what's cool about the big idea designs, they made two improvements. First of all, basically you have access to all your bits here. You can also basically, uh, you have a screwdriver like when you need, and also they give you an extension here, which is like. That's pretty awesome. Now, the reason why it took me so long to buy this was because I didn't see the practicality of it. To me, I felt like, um, and I'm just going to be true, like brutally honest with you. I use this tool here, which is a it's a Wera Rapidator connected to a Topeak, which in my opinion is like extremely effective. I actually the other day I put up like I modded like three multi tools just using this only. However, uh, I think a friend of mine explained it to me, and now it is starting to make sense. <laughs> You know what it is? You can drive to a party in a Honda Civic, right? And, or you could drive to a party with like, you know, a nice car. You know what I mean? And this is what they do. They get the job. It's not like the best way to explain it. And what I'm starting to learn is just, they just they're the nice car. You're driving into the you're like, and, and they make really nice tools. Okay. I'm going to quickly talk about three of these. And because I've used these two for a long time and, and I'm going to tell you why I got this and go from there. So, in terms of this, this is the Big Idea Design EDS2, Everyday Screwdriver 2. I actually, um, oddly enough, I don't recommend this one. I actually think, so in terms of usefulness and looks, in terms of looks, 10 out of 10. But in terms of usefulness, this actually isn't very useful because it's a little bit clunky. It doesn't get into much spaces. Um, and I just find I would much prefer a screwdriver, which actually can get to places when I need it to. And if needed, I can make it, you know, I can get to where I need to. So I actually... Between the three, I actually think this is the worst. <laughs> and I'll explain why I think these two are actually better than this. This um, is the most useful. I've used this even yesterday. Like you can tell this is all scuffed up. I've actually been using this. This has a lot of torque. I love this. This is the most useful, but it is, you know, the most plain looking, but it is the most useful. And I'm super glad I have this one. Now I kept this because of a couple of reasons. This is the, this is the best looks to performance ratio tool out there. In other words, it's, it looks good, but it also is high performance. This is like high, this looks really, really nice, but it's not as useful. There's better screwdrivers. This is, I shit you not, a Klein 11 to one screwdriver is actually a better screwdriver than this functionality wise, because it has 11 more bits. It has more robust. It's just better, but this looks nice. This doesn't look as nice, right? But this is the most useful out of, out of the three. And this is kind of like the most, I just feel like it's, it looks good. Um, and it is very useful to have all these bits. And the main selling points for me and why eventually I got it was because it can store those bits because to me, storing the bits was kind of, um, it was kind of a question for me. Like, how am I going to store them? Like, so if I have like, let's say a kit, like how do I store it? And there are three different ways that you can store them. Um, and it's just kind of like, they're not like, like, well, they work, but they're not ideal. One way is obviously you have the standard bits this way. The second method, which I learned actually from um, Daphne, uh, let's see, her name is Daphne Devi, and her idea is genius. Like, basically, she basically you would put it in bits like this, and you could actually bring that into your kit, and that works well as well. And um, another method that I pondered as well was just like, you know, why don't I just go simple? Just get like a small little Ziploc bag and just, you know, just go like this and. Um, you know, roll that up and that for sure is going to be able to shape to the form of the bag and you'll be able to easily bring what you need. But if I wanted to do it in style, this is how you would do it. I mean, this is just like, this is so sick. You know what I mean? Now I will say a couple things here. They give you this extension here, but I actually wouldn't use this extension. I actually would use my own. So what I would do is I would actually get the wear rapidator because this would allow me to, uh, get longer extension. But that's another thing they have too that they adjusted on the on the second version, which is another reason why I wanted to get it was it now has the ability to go on a, on the corner. This gives you more torque, way more torque. Even with the original one, when they use this one, um, you can have more torque. And 
I found that much more valuable compared to the first one, which only showed a vertical thing on the top. But overall, I love these designs. I love this company and I don't work for this company. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, and I know they're going to be watching this video. So I'm going to ask Big Idea Designs to... I'm going to propose you guys to do two different designs, please. I know you can do it. Number one, do what the Gerber Arms, Arm Slim, Slim Drive is doing, but do it better. I know you can do it. Basically, a bit driver and a knife at the end, and it's locking, and it looks sick. You guys can so do it. I know you guys can do it. The second one, some people talk about the Milwaukee Fastback. I love this tool, but I never bought it because I think it looks so ugly and clunky. Make a nice one of this. Just like... Something like this, where you have that, and it looks sick. I know you guys could totally do it, but um, yeah, that's all I got to say, man. I am totally sold, and I am definitely keeping this, and I definitely going to add this to my EDC kit. This is just so, it's freaking rad. Like, again, what I really want to say is, does this do anything better than, you know, like a standard screwdriver or a good screwdriver? No, but what I'm starting to realize about this company, you roll in style, man. You know what I mean? It's like, you're not you're not driving in there with a Toyota Corolla. You're driving in there in, you know, insert your favorite car of choice into the club. You know what I mean? So it just is so freaking baller. Like that is just pimp. That's nice. Anyway, you guys have a great one. All right, bye.